After seeing the video of Takashi Sikitani, I'll post the link to it in the comments, I knew I had to try this uh, for myself. So we have to do a mount that fits the Mavic. So we start by clicking on our Caramba mount. You'll find the link in the description below. It just steps on the Mavic. It's pretty sturdy. It removes very easily. Just pull on the lips and clips off and on again. The front mount is pretty small. It just takes a quarter inch uh, camera screw. You put in, put the counter screws, and then you can mount just about any camera that has a camera screw hole, uh, like most of them, except the Ralu, I think, and the GoPro Fusion. Here we'll first mount the Samsung Gear 360, model 2017. So it screws on, and then you click it into the Karamba mount. You'll see it looks pretty wobbly, but that's for a reason, because the first attempts I did were very sturdy, and they made the entire Mavic shake. So by making it a little bit bendy the way it is right now, it takes the shake out of the Mavic. The same goes for the 2016 model of the Gear 360, the Insta 361 and the Theta S, which I'm put on right now. So you see, it looks unbalanced but it's evening out very well on the drone itself the back mount is a bit longer same situation there the sturdier you make the you make it the more the mavic will shake so there's a little dent at the end to take out the shake of the uh, of the drone itself uh, i'm still experimenting here on how to lock it to the back uh, I'll, I'll do a couple of updates and you'll see the links uh, appear on uh, thingiverse pretty soon so the same goes with the 2016 model, the Insta 361, and the Theta S, which all fit as you'd expect uh, on any regular camera screw. It's really amazing how stable the Mavic flies with it. So I'll take it in the sky right now. Here you see it flying with the Insta 361, and it's it was even a pretty windy day. And still, it's so stable you would run into it if it weren't making any sound. Um, so we started with the Insta 361. The same goes for the Samsung Gear 360 2016. You see in the, in the back the leaves uh, move and it, it really was pretty windy and, and, and still the Mavic behaves uh, as if it's uh, not carrying any load at all. The same goes for the 2017 model, the uh, Insta360 or the Theta first, we already seen the Insta360, the Theta S and back mounted, I only filmed a couple I believe, the Gear360 2017. As you can see here I'm experimenting with a couple of duct taped uh, situations. Here it's very stable just hanging there and it depends a bit on the weight you put in the back. Here's a split view of the camera, above you see it flying, below you see what the Gear 360 is filming. And that's about it. The 360 camera cancels out itself, cancels out the handle it's carrying and it gives you this uh, selfie view of your drone. So I hope you enjoyed this, if you want any more of it there are a couple of links below and I'm sure the comments will uh, clarify a lot as well. Thank you.